This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Winter Season of 2020. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. We're certainly glad that you can join us. We have two great games lined up for you tonight. First off, you're going to see Spencerville take on Continental, and then a little bit later, Botkins will face off against Marion Local. Well, we want to introduce you to our players joining us from Spencerville tonight. We have Katya Williams, Ash Plummer, Ben Sudoff and Joe Kidd. And Spencerville is coached by Melissa Pritchard. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Continental, we have Jude Marshall, Connor Mag, Reese Knowles, and Madison Burkhart. And Continental is coached by Nathan Schmidt. Welcome to all of you as well. All right, we have 10 questions for your first round, and they are all worth 10 points. Everyone get those buzzers ready, okay? It's really important that when you buzz in that you speak up as loudly as possible and also make your answers as complete as possible, okay? Everybody set and ready to go? Okay. Question number one in this first round. What is a space devoid of matter called? Yes, that would be Spencerville. A black hole. That is incorrect. You wanna try it, Continental? Okay, time is up. The answer is vacuum. All right, moving on now. Question number two. Name or what is the first day of the Allied invasion of Normandy known as? Yes, Spencerville. D-Day. D-Day is the correct answer. Name the first Republican president to die in office. Yes, Continental. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is correct. All right, moving on now to question number four. Name the largest island on the west coast of North America. Spencerville. Easter Island. Easter Island is incorrect, so Continental, you've got a chance here. Hawaii. Hawaii is also incorrect. Vancouver Island is the answer we're looking for. All right, question number five. Which word of French origin is used to describe a sleeping volcano that may become active again? Yes, Spencerville. Dormant. Dormant is the answer. All right, question six in our first round. Which metal was used to construct the skin of the Statue of Liberty? Yes, Continental. Copper. Copper is the answer. All right, moving on now. Number seven, in which state capital is the Beacon Hill neighborhood located? Yes, that would be Continental. Phoenix. Phoenix is incorrect. Spencerville, you wanna try? Yes. Salt Lake City. That is also incorrect. It's Boston. All right, question number eight. What is the term used for the process of destroying a building by using explosives to make it collapse inward? Yes, Continental. Demolition. That is incorrect. Spencerville, would you like me to complete this question? Yes. yes. What is the term used for the process of destroying a building by using explosives to make it collapse inward upon itself? Okay, time is up. The answer is implosion or implode. All right, question nine, first round. A tale of two cities and great expectations. Yes, Spencer Bell? Charles Dickens. You are correct. Charles Dickens <laughs> is the author. All right, good guess. <laughs> All right, moving on now. Final question in this first round. The gel from which succulent plant can be used to treat a sunburn? Aloe. Aloe is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first round, and here is the score. Continental, you have 20 points. Spencerville with 40. We'll be back with the second and third rounds right after the break. Stay with us.
Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we are moving into our second round now in this game between Continental and Spencerville, our school right now. Continental, you have 20 points. Spencerville with 40. That means you will lead the second round. You're going to have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answers, okay? All right, question one. What are the sudden outbursts of energy on the sun's surface called? Yes. Solar flare. Solar flare is correct. Number two, in 1945, which physicist said, the war is won, but the peace is not? Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is the answer. All right, moving on, number three. <laughs> Port-au-Prince is the capital of which country? Okay. Yes. Haiti. Haiti is the answer. <laughs> All right, number four. Which two planets are the closest to the Earth? Um, no, Venus and Mars. Okay. Yes. Venus and Mars. Venus and Mars is correct. Okay, you have one more question in this round. Which phobia means the fear of open spaces? Ah, oh, time is up. I thought you were going to sweep this round. No. It's agoraphobia. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That All right, Continental, are you ready? Okay. Same thing. You have five questions. They're all yours, but please buzz in with your answers. Which is the oldest college football bowl game? <laughs> yes. Rose Bowl. Rose Bowl is correct. All right, identify one of the three Republican presidents after Abraham Lincoln who died in office. John yes. F. Kennedy. That is, John F. Kennedy is incorrect. So you had the choice of James Garfield, William McKinley, and Warren Harding, okay? All right, question three. What title was given to rulers of ancient Egypt who were considered both a monarch and a god? Yes. Pharaoh. Pharaoh is correct. Which planet is the only one with two moons? Okay, time is up. The answer is Mars. All right, you have one question remaining in this round. What are the data packets that help websites track you called? Yes. Cookies. Cookies is correct. All right. We've come to the end of round two now, and we have a little bit of a change in the score. Continental, you have 35 points. Spencerville with 60. So we are moving on to our final round. Again, 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Please speak up with your answers. All right. Question number one. Where was Jesus' boyhood home? Yes, that would be Spencerville. Jerusalem. Jerusalem is incorrect. Continental, do you want to try? Bethlehem. Yes. Bethlehem. Bethlehem is also incorrect. Nazareth is what we're looking for. <laughs> All right, number two. What is the art of paper folding that is, yes, Spencerville. Origami. Origami is correct. What was the occupation of Sally Ride? Yes, Spencerville. A pilot. Pilot is incorrect. Continental, oh, you want to try? Dumb. Yes. Teacher. Teacher is also incorrect. It's an astronaut. Okay, or a physicist actually as well. All right, question number four in our third round. What is the largest city in Turkey? Yes, Spencerville. Bangladesh. That is incorrect. Continental? Yes. Istanbul. Istanbul is the answer. All right, moving on. Number five. Give the name of the U.S. program that accomplished the goal of placing a man on the moon. Spencerville. NASA. That is incorrect. Continental, you want to try? <laughs> Bosnia. 
We can accept your answer. The U.S. space program. That is also incorrect. <laughs> the answer we're looking for is Apollo. Mm. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, moving on now, number six in this final six. round. <laughs> Which U.S. city suffered a massive earthquake on April 18th of 1906? Yes, Spencerville. San Francisco. San Francisco is correct. By population, what is the largest city in the United States? Spencerville. New York City. New York City is the answer. All right, we have three questions remaining in this game. Right now, the score, Spencerville with 90, Continental with 45. Almost every human cell has 23 pairs of what? Yes. Chromosomes. Chromosomes is correct. Which word designates both the central part of the head of a comet and the central part of an atom? Spencerville. The nucleus. Nucleus is correct. And the final question in this game. What device measures air pressure? Spencerville. Barometer. Barometer is the answer. All right, we have come to the end of our game now between Spencerville and Continental. Continental, you came in with 45 points. Spencerville, the winner, with 120. So congratulations, you'll be moving on. Continental, thank you so much for joining us this season. All right, we'll be back with our second game right after the break. Stay with us. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Welcome back, everyone. We just wrapped up a game between Spencerville and Continental, and Spencerville will be moving on in competition. They'll eventually take on the winner of this game now, just about ready to get played between Botkins and Marion Local. We want to introduce you to our players. Joining us from Botkins is Joseph Shipper, Emma Yuri, Donovan Brown, and Elliot Gabot. And Botkins is coached by Ryan Loy. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Marion Local. We have Ryan Santignan, Xander Broering, Cassandra Holdheide, and Simon Mesher. Marion Local is coached by Paula Hemmelgarn. All right, welcome to all of you as well. All right, is everyone ready with this first round? We have 10 questions. They're all worth 10 points apiece, and they are up for grabs, so get the buzzers ready. When you answer, please speak as loudly as you can so we can hear your answers and make sure that those watching at home can also hear and make them as complete as possible, okay? All right, let's go with question number one. What national memorial that was completed in 1941 is in South Dakota? Yes, that would be Marion Local. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is correct. Who wrote Sense and Sensibility? Yes, Bodkins. Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine is incorrect. Marion Local, you've got a chance with this. All right, time is up. The answer is Jane Austen. All right, moving on now, question number three in this first round. Because of their brightly colored uniforms, what name was given to the British soldiers during, yes, that would be Botkins. The Redcoats. Redcoats is the answer. What word beginning with the letter S is used to designate a woman who substitutes for another woman in bearing children? Yes, Botkins. A surrogate. Surrogate is correct. All right, number five. Who was the only U.S. president to not sleep in the White House? Yes, that would be Bodkins. George Washington. George Washington is the answer. Okay, moving on now to question number six in this first round. 
Identify the plan named for an American general that was developed to help Europe recover from World War II. Bodkins. The Marshall Plan. The Marshall Plan is the answer. All right, moving on now to question seven. What organ produces the substance called bile? Yes, Botkins. The liver. Liver is the answer. Okay, three questions remaining in this first round. What vehicle has a stop arm and red lights? Yes, Botkins. A school bus. School bus is the answer. <clears throat> Question nine, identify the hook-shaped peninsula in Massachusetts, extending 65 miles into, yes, that would be Marion Local. Cape Cod. Cape Cod is correct. And your final question in this first round. Which word ending in sphere designates the part of the earth that is covered? Botkins? Hemisphere. Hemisphere is incorrect. Marion Local, would you like me to complete the question? Yeah. Which word ending in sphere designates the part of the earth that is covered by water? Yes. The hydrosphere? Hydrosphere is the answer there. All right, we've come to the end of round one. Here's our score. Bodkins, you have 60 points. Marion Local with 30. That means, Bodkins, you're going to lead this round. You're going to have five questions now worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answer. Question one, give the date for Groundhog Day. Yes. The 2nd of February. You are correct, February 2nd. Question number two. According to the 22nd Amendment, ratified on February 27th of 1951, how many terms of office may a U.S. Yes, Botkins? Two terms. Two terms is correct. Number three. What was the largest concentration camp during World War II? Yes. Auschwitz. Auschwitz is the answer. All right, number four of the second round. Music of the Night is from what musical? Yes. The Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera is correct. And here's your final question in the second round. Name the heaviest naturally occurring element whose atomic number is 92. Yes. Uranium. Uranium is correct. Great job. All right, Marion Local, your turn now. Five questions, five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers. Which literary form is defined as a brief piece of prose expressing a personal point of view? Time is up. The answer is essay. All right, number two. Identify the Italian artist known for painting The Last Supper. Yes. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is the answer. All right, moving on now to your question three. Identify the home of President James Madison, which has the same name as the capital of Vermont. Yes. Montpelier. Montpelier is correct. Okay. Question four. What is the capital of Russia? Yes. Moscow. Moscow is the answer. And your final question in the second round. Name the three elements that combine to form a carbohydrate. Just do it. Yes. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen is correct. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of round two. Here's our score. Marion Local now with 50 points, Botkins with 85. We're going to take a break and be back with our final round right after this. Stay with us. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal.
All right, welcome back everyone. We are moving into our final round of competition between Marion Local and Botkins. Our score right now, Marion Local, you have 50 points, Botkins with 85. And this round again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Everybody set? All right, question number one. What is the common name for the machine called a polygraph? Yes, Botkins. A lie detector test. Lie detector is correct. What word beginning with the letter I means not subject to death or living forever? Botkins. Immortal. Immortal is the answer. Question three in our final round. Which country is credited with the invention of paper about 105? Yes, that would be Botkins. Egypt. Egypt is incorrect. Marion Local, would you like me to complete the question? Yes. yes. Which country is credited with the invention of paper about 105 AD? Yes. China. China is the answer. China. All right, number four. Which book of the Bible tells of Israel's deliverance from bondage? Yes, that would be Botkins. Exodus. Exodus is correct. Number five, according to legend, which Philadelphia woman created the first, yes, that would be Botkins. Betsy Ross. Betsy Ross is the answer. Okay, moving on, number six now. On the periodic table of elements, what has the atomic symbol CR? Yes, Marion Local. Chromium. Chromium is correct. Which amendment to the Constitution states that a voter cannot be denied a ballot because of his race? Yes, that would be Botkins. Fifteen. Fifteenth Amendment is correct. All right. Question eight. What American holiday is celebrated on June 14th? Yes, Marion Local. Memorial Day. That is incorrect. Botkins, you want to try it? Yes. Flag day. Flag day is what we're looking for. All right. We have two questions remaining. What body of water does the Mississippi River empty into? Botkins. Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico is correct. And here is your final question of the game. Which chemical element makes up about four-fifths of the volume of air? Yes. Botkins. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is correct. All right. We've come to the end of our game between Marion Local and Botkins, and here is the final score. Marion Local with 70 points. Botkins, a big winner with 165. Congratulations. You'll be moving on. And Marion Local, as always, we thank you for joining us, and thank you for joining us at home. We'll see you back here next week. Until then, bye-bye, everyone. You guys...